Okay, here we have the fixed chair. I uh, had some multiple faces and stuff in there. I'm not sure how those got in there, but we got this all fixed. So you will be provided with this file. And what we want to do is use this as a demo for unwrapping. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure all my history is deleted. So I'll go ahead and say delete history. That gives me a nice clean uh, start there. And I'm going to jump over to my UV editor, right, workspace. You see I've just got sort of junk over here. And a good place to start is to throw a planar map on here. And we'll go ahead and do that. And it just creates something. It doesn't really matter if you want to rotate it around or whatever you can do that. You know, it really doesn't matter which direction this faces. This is just sort of like a reset of the UV. So I'm just going to sort of throw that up there. I like that. What we want to do is we want to set this up so that we can um, unfold it. So we'll start under here and I'm going to go ahead into my edges here and let's see here. Let's grab maybe like this edge right there and I'm going to hit the cut. You see it creates that little seam there. We'll do the same thing back here. Just grab that and hit G to cut that again right like that. Now, if you have a symmetrical object, I didn't show this in class, but if you have a symmetrical object, um, you can speed up your, um, your selection of, of cutting and all that kind of stuff by turning on symmetry, right? So typically this is off and we can turn this on and I'm gonna choose the object X direction, right like that. And you can see now if I grab this side, it also grabs that other side. So I'll double click there and then I'll hit cut. You see it did both of those sides for me at one time, which is really, really nice. I'm going to also grab both all of this, all of that, and looks like I misgrabbed there. So let's just undo that. Grab this guy and that guy. There we go. And you can see that that is also selected on this side, which speeds up the workflow quite a bit. So I'll hit cut. You see both of those now have their um, bottoms cut out. Let's do the same thing here. Let's grab maybe this middle piece in here. Let's hit F to frame that. Make sure it's the right one, right? Let's double click on it and we'll hit cut. There we go. Got that one done. Let's do the back here. So we'll cut that. You see both of those have been cut up there. We'll do the bottom. And we'll double click here, 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 and I think right about there, that looks right. So we'll hit cut. Now we've got all of that done. So this is done, this is done. Let's do these top pieces here. We'll take that and we'll just hit cut. And let's see, I think we've got all the bottom there done. Let's do these guys. So we'll grab that one and we'll hit cut. And we'll grab that one and we'll hit cut. Let's do the tops of that. And I'll just go ahead and hit cut there and then get a little closer on this side and that side and do a cut there. Looks like I missed this last one. So we'll grab that and cut that. And you see I've got that done now on both sides. Excellent. So everything except for this piece. So you can see it even works across the same piece, right? So let's go ahead and do this guy right there. So we'll cut across there. And now I'm gonna go so I can see this in wireframe. So I'll hit four, I'll grab all the way across there, grabs that on the other side as well. Hold down shift and I'll grab this one and this one and I'll hit cut. And then last but not least is I'll grab this guy right there and I'll hit cut. Let's take a look at it in the solid view. All right, looks like we need to grab this side as well. And so we'll cut that right across here. I think that's gonna be able to unfold that way. So that should work out. All right, so let's see how the unfolding is gonna work. So. Let's maybe do it shell by shell, just so we can see how it works, and then we'll jump, grab a bunch of them, and do them all at once. So let's grab this by the UV shell. Let's do this guy. And so we'll go into unfold, we'll shift and click on it. 
let's just make sure we reset our settings and then we'll say apply. And there it is, right? There's our little unfold. You can see looks pretty good, flattened itself out pretty well. I like that. So we'll just continue to grab the UV shells here. So we'll grab this one and we'll hit unfold. There it is. We'll grab this one, hit unfold. This one unfold, that one unfold, that one. Um, it's gonna grab both because we've got this symmetry. Let's go ahead and turn that off and just do one. So there's that unfold, good. Grab that one, and unfold that. You can see there it is. And we'll continue all around here. Just unfolding all of that. Um, let's unfold these guys. So those guys aren't unfolding as well here. So let's see what we have. There it is. I just must not have hit the right button. Excellent. There's our unfold. That's better. I think I had used a different tool there. That looks good. Excellent. So those bottom pieces, we'll just grab all everything now, right like that. And go ahead and just hit unfold and it unfolds those little ones and anything that we had missed. All right, bit of a mess needs to fit into this square. So we do that with our layout. So I'll shift and click on that and we'll say edit and reset the settings. We'll leave this setting here. Well, let's leave this off for right now, but let's leave that preserve 3D ratios on, leave the translate shells on, and let's give ourselves a little bit of shell padding, maybe five, and a little bit of tile padding as well. And we'll wanna pack it in a full square. So let's grab all of that and we'll sit and say apply. And there it went. So we packed all those up. Now that is by no means neat. So let's go ahead and try packing it horizontally. And we'll say apply. Much better. Still a couple there. So let's hit it again. Maybe it'll take a little bit there. So let's try maybe vertical. There we go. That cleaned that up quite nicely. We can try the horizontal again if you wanted. Eh, doesn't like that one. So we'll just leave it like that. That is nice and neat. And we can turn on our checkers. Let's close this out. We see we have even checkers all the way throughout. And we are ready to texture this. Now you may want to say, you know what, I'm going to bring all these ends and bring them all together here you know, so that I can texture all of those the same. We've got the two front ones, which are a little smaller. We can grab all those and maybe pull those up just a tad. So that's gonna have a different kind of wood than the rest of it, all right? The rest of it looks pretty good um, as we, you know, take a look at that, all right? These are a little bit uh, weird because these are bent, all right? So otherwise that looks good. Um, you know, we could take one and we could rotate them a little bit. We could take this, rotate it 90 degrees, and maybe stick that up in there, maybe do the same thing with that one as well. So we'll put that into there, something like that. So you can play around with that however you wish, but that is the way we would get our UV um, set out for this object. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, contact me. Thanks.